Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video what I'm going to show you how to do is set up a WordPress multi-site network that has the dashboards running in a different language. To do this you will need to have a multi-site network set up, it doesn't matter if it's a subdomain or subdirectory network that you have. Uh, you also need to have access to the WordPress language files uh, for your preferred language and also some kind of access to your server, so you know, S FTP, FTP or SSH. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll go into the network admin dashboard and what we're going to do here is add a new site. So we'll just do that here. What I'm going to call mine is Chinese and the site title can be WordPress in Chinese. Uh, can we put that there and for the admin email address you can just put uh, whatever you want, whatever would normally be the admin email address and then click add site. So that site has been added to the network. So what I'm going to do is go to visit the dashboard. Uh, so here we go, we're in the WordPress in Chinese dashboard now. Uh, you can see it's all in English though. So what we need to do now is get the language files for this language up on the server. I'm going to use Taiwanese Mandarin uh, as the particular flavor of Chinese uh, today. Uh, so what I need to do is go to tw.wordpress.org uh, and obviously you need to go to the particular version that you require and then actually download that WordPress zip file uh, and once it's downloaded you can just open it up in your file browser or as I've got here I've got my FTP client open uh, then what we need to do is navigate to WP content and you'll find a folder called languages and if you just open that up you'll see that you've got all the .po and mo files uh, that will be able to actually make WordPress work in this language so then on your actual server, you need to be in your public HTML folder and then go into the WP content folder. And probably the first thing you'll notice here is that there's no languages folder. Rather than create the folder and upload the files, I'm just gonna drag the folder across and upload that to just let that be handled automatically. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, so that upload is now finished. So what we need to do is jump over back into WordPress and there are two ways that you can go about actually making it uh, work in the language that you want. You can go to uh, the network dashboard and go to all sites, find the language website or the website you want to change, uh, go to the settings tab and just make this fast to do control F and down in the bottom you'll find a field called WP Lang. Uh, but the other way you can get access to this field is uh, from within the actual dashboard. If you go to that and then options.php actually get access to what is more or less exactly the same so we'll do another search for WP Lang and there you find it there so what we need to do is input the languages ISO code into this field it's going to be different you know if uh, Spanish from Spain is ES under slash capital ES uh, that's just one example but what we're going to use is ZH under slash TW uh, so we'll go down to the bottom and hit save changes and when the page reloads, it will all be in Chinese. There you go. So uh, maybe you've been wondering what WordPress looks like in Chinese. Uh, this is a good example of how, how it will look. And of course, what you can do now is jump back to your regular dashboard uh, of the initial site. And you can see that that's all still in English. So if you ever have a need to build uh, like a website or even a network, obviously in this case, a network of websites uh, for a client, uh, for just because you're interested in doing it uh, for whatever your reason is, using this and multi-site is a fantastic way to go about that, especially when the end users will be more comfortable working in their language. So I hope you found this interesting and I hope that it's been able to help you or maybe it's been a curiosity you've had in mind that you've wanted to know how to fix. If you have any questions about what we've done today, please feel free to ask in the comments below.